Yo, what's going on guys? This is Sid, aka Vicious274, coming at you with another review. Yes, again, from the office. Um, still trying to find that perfect location in the house on where I can do videos, but I'm actually kind of liking the daylight right now and uh, how things are working out. You know, sitting in my chair at my desk, nice and comfortable. Um, let me know what you guys think of the new area. Uh, but what I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is the, um, the Clots Block that is available at uh, Flat Face Fingerboards and BlackRiverRamps.com. These are made by Elias Azmuth. And uh, Elias Azmuth is actually one of the uh, first fingerboarders that I ever found online who, uh, who really got me hooked on the scene. And he's a rider for Black River and Flat Face. And uh, he used to help make Berlinwood fingerboards. And now he's making these uh, parking curbs. And um, these, I believe, are $15 on flat face fingerboards, and I'm not sure how much they are in euros on uh, Black River Ramps. Um, but whatever they are in euros, the currency conversion would come around to around $15 American. And I'll have all the information in the video description so you guys can go check them out. Now, the unique thing about this, these parking blocks is that they have what's, I guess, engraved hope you guys could see the detail in there where it says clots block it's nicely engraved and then it says Elias Azmuth's signature right there and it's also his Berlinwood graphic uh, signature um, it did come with the non sliders it's pr I believe it's about I think it's about seven to eight inches in length and not very high I mean it's not even an inch high but this thing is a ton of fun and not only for like seshing it on its own but you can put this on anything you can put it on any type, type of ramp um, you could put things underneath it to make it go higher or higher this way um, the one thing that I did get nervous though with this um, parking block was I started to see some some cracking and you could probably see it here there's a crack there there's a crack there and it does go all around, but then I noticed that it wasn't splitting apart. And uh, so what I did was I, I went to the description of the uh, of the product online, and um, basically what they say that this is part of the a, the drying process and the curing process that they will there will be cracks. And when they were coming when he was coming up um, with the prototypes of these, he noticed that that was happening. So actually, what they do is there's actually there's wires uh, like little uh, mini rebar inside of the of the block so if you do get these pressure cracks it's not going to come apart like it could still kind of the crack kind of flexes a little bit i don't i try not to do it too much and i'll explain why uh but it does flex a little bit but it doesn't come apart so yes there is going to be a crack um it's still going to remain smooth and this does have a finish on it so you don't have to wax it at all and um you're not going to get caught up unless if where it cracks this happens so i got it some chipping right here on this end and that's just from um from trying to do a trick and failing and my trucks hit the, the edge of the the block right there and it did chip and then after that chip i noticed that it, it became a lot more easier to um to start flaking off so i guess that would be one of the cons um which can be a con with any concrete obstacle really because once concrete starts to chip and flake and crack, it tends to go downhill from there. But a lot of you like that look. A lot of you want to have that realistic look and have it uh, chipped on some ends. And I like that look too, but I wouldn't want it on my, my grinding surface. I would like the grinding surface to remain nice and smooth. And that's why when it comes to these cracks, I don't I try not to shake it too much so that it doesn't start to crack up in here. And then it kind of will interfere with my grind. Um, that really is my only um, my only con about the uh, about the ramp is that that it cracks and uh, the edges here are really easy to uh, to chip so be careful with that uh, but for 15 bucks I mean you're getting a pretty cool portable ramp as well like you could throw this in your backpack you could throw this in your pocket just don't sit on it um, and yeah, again, if you have like a, a quarter pipe, you could put it at the top of the quarter pipe. If you've got just like a, a mani pad, you could put it at the edge of the mani pad. You could do all kinds of things with this uh, with this little parking block, and uh, and I really liked it, and I highly recommend it to uh, to anybody that wants to have a nice little portable uh, portable ramp. 
So again, you can get these at flat, flat face figure boards for $15 and blackpepperramps.com. I'll have all the information in the video description so you guys can go check them out. Thanks for watching and keep fingerboarding. Two fingers, peace.